Right, we're at a very exciting place today. I'm here with Robert. We're at CATL's CAIT testing facility, yeah. which is so exciting. So, yeah. I mean, if this is, I mean, we've just been given a, a, a tour around here and we're both a little bit overloaded yes. with data and, and information acronyms. and acronyms. But this is going to be a really interesting show. So, welcome to the Fully Charged Show. Let's go and have a look. Love the Fully Charged Show? Then you'll love our EV test drives and our Everything Electric exhibitions. Next up, Vancouver. So one of the things that I've you know, learned and I've talked about a lot on the show is our BYD is a good example. Yes. A battery company that now makes cars. Correct. And they are extraordinary and they're huge and we don't need to talk about them now. But what we're seeing now is CATL, which I think is the biggest battery company in the world. If not, they're certainly yes. right up. Yeah, they've got about 36, 37% of the global market. Right. Which is, so, yeah, that's quite, quite a lot. lot. Yes. Quite a lot. But they're never going to make cars. They've stated yes. very clearly that's not going to happen. No, they're that, never going to cross that, that, that barrier, that boundary. Yeah. yeah. Because making cars is difficult. Yeah. It's fickle. It's fashion. You know, yeah. it's, it's a lot of complication. Yeah. So they said to us so that they, they won't do this. this. So this is what we're seeing today. So that is, I mean, I think most people who've watched the show will be familiar with that. It's called the skateboard chassis. It is a big block of batteries in the middle. It's got a drive train at one end. It's got the control system at the front. That is what they're manufacturing. And they're, that, well, they're not manufacturing that here. They're testing it here. Testing it here, yeah. So it's not because I was thinking, oh, it's a battery test facility. They probably got another oh. 10 of those. <laughs> I this mean, is, look at the world. Yeah, no. There's 20 facilities yeah. around the world. But, so. the, but this is very much specific. So they are, and that was interesting when we were shown around, you asked about it, but that they're developing a suspension and steering systems yes. that they will. So a car company will then effectively buy this, yes. build a car on top of it. Yep. And they can customise it, the, the, the size, the Yeah, it can be longer and wider. Suspension and, and yeah. everything. And they just work with the OEMs or the, yeah. uh, the car companies to, to make it for them. It's, yeah. It's but they really... Don't, they, don't, they keep saying, uh, leave the dirty stuff to us. You can yeah. make the pretty stuff on top. So round here, we've got an, a, a full-size example, one, yeah. an actual one. And the, Which, you can really see how beneficial this is to a manufacturer because all of the motors are tucked away down there, tucked away yeah. down there. All of the gubbins, that's the official name, yep. tucked in at the front. Just, just stuck in at the front. Then as a car manufacturer, you get this really flexible yeah. chassis, which you can put rails in, you can put double seats in, yeah. three rows, whatever steering, whatever screen, whatever shape. Yes. All can, of that is completely flexible. Yeah. So, And you, in a sense, you can concentrate on the kind of, the, not quite, I mean, saying the cosmetic aspect yes. is a little bit cruel, <laughs> yeah. but on the kind of fashionable, yeah. Interior luxury, either not or plain and simple. You exactly. know, because you could put a really plain box on the top of this chassis that is a van. Exactly. You know, it could make it super simple, or you could have a super luxury mm -hmm. MPV or yes. a pickup truck. Actually, I hadn't yeah, even thought of that. Anything. Yeah. yeah. I think the really interesting thing is this is the first time that, uh, like, CATL were the first ones to do chassis to sell. Yes. Technology and it's all kind of integrated it, in it's one one lump so one the, lump, the yeah. structural integrity of the vehicle is is basically the battery is part yeah. of that job. Um, but i did like the the um over here the drivetrain yeah what he was the engineer was telling us about the drivetrain yeah. how this so it's an 800 volt system so very powerful very fast charging but what he's managed to do what the team has managed to do is it's flatten flat this it. bit yeah so that you actually get more space on the interior of yeah. the car so if you think, I mean, to compare it to the old technology, it was very cruel, to have a, 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 an engine, a drive system as powerful as that yeah. would be a block about this yes. big and about that size, yeah. then a gearbox, yes. then a transmission system. That and is everything, tank. and a fuel tank. <laughs> that is everything, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. That's what makes you go along, and then yeah. what, powers, what goes into those bits is from the battery. Yeah. And that is remarkable, how much that's been... <clears throat> Compacted. Condensed and yeah. compacted, yeah. And they've so they've this is the single motor version, so there's one motor in here, but they've also got a double motor which version, fits in the which same fits space. in the same space with the same yeah. shape, yeah. you know, efficiency. And yeah, I love it, how like CATL's engineering is all about efficiency, yeah. maximum space, so maximum power, yeah. reducing the cost, and just making this, yeah perfect for everyone that is a be i mean i know well there's engineers that i've known including my brother who would just look at this for hours yes. i can look at it for minutes <laughs> yeah. and appreciate it but he could look at it for hours and go this is amazing yeah. this is proper brilliant 
you know, w w really kind of what's w wonderful about it is we're not see we're no longer seeing anything that's a bit converted from a petrol car. No, no. We've rammed an engine, we've rammed an electric motor in and stuck some batteries under the floor. You know, this is so uh, it's kind of fully integrated, isn't it? Yeah. And I think we're going to see a lot more of the kind of skateboard chassis across many other yeah, yeah. automakers. It's, it's what's become the standard norm, yeah, isn't it? And it yeah. makes so much sense. Um, and we were just asking, I think it's probably worthwhile talking about this. So we asked yeah. the question, how many people work for CATL? Yeah. Just 100,000. It's only 100,000. Yeah, so it's a many. tiny little company. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little gar garage a startup. Garage, yes. <laughs> 100,000 um, people. And they've got a huge number of... Uh, patents, patents yeah. you know, they're developing, um, researching all the time, and that's what's really exciting yeah. about. Because what we're not covering today, which we saw at the motor show, is their latest battery tech. So, yes. for example, literally battery technology, nothing to do with the drivetrains, the, the the speed that it can charge. So it can charge at 1.2 or 1.3 megawatts yes. in five minutes. So you plug the car in, five minutes later, it's it's full again. And I mean, that's going to take a while before that becomes sure. even, you know, before sure. you can go and use a 1.2 <laughs> yes. megawatt charger. But probably not that far but away. But not that far probably away. Next but year. for it to be rolled out yeah, globally. globally. But I mean, that is clearly the direction that this is going in, <clears throat> is that the, the battery technology, one, will outlast the car, and two, it will charge in moments. Yes. You know, yeah. that is clearly going to happen. And I, li I like, like talking about CATL or other battery companies, because this is the core of... Everything. All of the yeah. everything that's happening, and yeah. I think they were talking about like the new sodium ion battery yes. that they released. Um, you know, there's 24 volt sodium battery for trucks yeah. that works in minus 40 degrees, yeah. and I mean, there's so much technology. You can put a pickaxe through it, and nothing yeah, happens. And nothing happens. So, <laughs> and that was the yeah. theme of this year's uh, motor show. Was is safety. really safety was yeah. really at the forefront, wasn't it? Very, Very interesting. Much so. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, talking about safety, we're about to drive. Just the chassis. Just I mean, the I don't chassis. Naked chassis. Are they really letting us do that? I think so. I mean, maybe I'll go first. And you go first. Test dummy. <laughs> I'll be very slow. I want to get the lowest. I always want to get the slowest lap time whenever I'm on a track. <laughs> We're really excited to partner with Duracell Energy to showcase their amazing renewable energy solutions. If you want to reduce your energy bills and join the renewable energy transition, installing home battery storage and solar panels at home is a great way to start. Duracell Energy's ecosystem of products typically partners with solar panels, but they can be just as effective without it, particularly for electric vehicle owners or anyone looking to take control of their energy. And with Duracell Energy's Platinum Homeowner offer, Viewers can get a custom service that pairs you with top quality products and the best installers in your area. Duracell Energy's batteries, inverters and DV chargers work together on one easy to use app. With features like dynamic tariff integration and grid services, you'll be able to maximize your return. Ready to get started? You can get your quote today. And don't forget, we're also giving away a Duracell Energy Bunny in every episode. Just answer the question about fully charged by following the link in the description. Good luck. Elliot, I don't think I'd really thought this through before we came here. So this is the chassis that can move a large vehicle. It can move a big van or a big truck right. full of bricks. I mean, it can move lots of heavy stuff, yes. and all it's moving is a chair and a you. A chair and me. <laughs> and me. And you. I'm the, I'm the test dome. I'm going I first, aren't I? I want you to go first and see what it's like. I mean, it's very unusual, isn't it, to be driving a sh chassis? Basically, just a chassis. I don't think I've, no, I've never done anything like it. No, it's extraordinary. So, this is the Gen 1 chassis. They've actually got a Gen 2 chassis now. Right. Oh, but that's so, at the show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, on display at the moment. Yeah. yeah. And I think they said this is the steer by wire. Yeah. So there's no you can physical see, there's connection. No between. mechanical connection at all. Mechanical yeah. connection, no. Yeah. All uh, physical. Or I mean, there's, there's nothing to it. There's no. a steering wheel. There's a go faster pedal and a stop pedal. Yeah. Forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. And the key. Yeah. No sport mode. It's nothing like that. It's got a park button. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's important. And what, what, what have we been warned to do? Uh, don't do too much drifting. drifting. I mean, that's a disappointment uh, for you, isn't it, really? Right, you know, I'm the king of the drift. I've <laughs> never drifted in my life, and I don't want to start now. <laughs> I, want to st I want it to be really stable. Yeah. But clearly, I hadn't really thought about it. I just assumed it would be like 
I don't know why I thought it'd be just really slow and we'd be testing it out like a test thing. No, and they, there's it's a speed limit down there, so yeah. <laughs> don't go over, above no. 120. 120, yeah. So I guess I'll go first. I'd love you to go first. Oh, thanks, Robert. <laughs> Little watch. <laughs> Oh, oh! Is it, does it feel oh lively? Oh my god! It feels very rapid. Right. I'm not even putting the foot accelerator. No, oh. That's rapid. <laughs> I'm doing 33 kilometers an hour. Let's go a bit faster. 40. Oh, it's fun. What if we put our foot down a bit? Whoa, that's rapid! That's too fast! Elliot, slow down. You're in a naked chassis with nothing around you. Recipe for disaster. How an electric sports car should make me feel. This excited. This kind of visceral and fun and really experiencing the road. It can be done. Now it's your turn. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. I just automatically <laughs> put my foot on the brake. I'll take those off for now. All right. Give it to you. Uh. Here it goes. Uh. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, it's so, f it's so fast. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to try and do anything clever with this. Woo! <laughs> I just test the brakes. Oh, the brakes are fantastic. Of course, they work so well because the, the whole thing is so light. The brakes are designed to stop a much heavier vehicle. You can judge so, it's what's great. Bodywork really gets in the way of driving. I mean, you can just tell, I can tell exactly where the car is going, how close I can get to the edge. It's so easy to see, because it's just there. There's nothing in the way. Fantastic. But also on this track, I don't have to worry if there's anyone behind me. <laughs> don't need wing mirrors. done this in an, any kind of electric vehicle before. Much too much fun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Woo. Sit down. Yeah, yeah, me too. Bit, I'm a bit shaky after that. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is amazing, isn't it? What Because it, it's so kind of, in a sense, it's banal. It's a, it's an electric car. Yeah, we've both driven them loads. Exactly. There's nothing it's, different. It's completely <laughs> visceral. You can see the wheels, yeah. see the suspension, yeah. feel the wind. Yeah. Just a completely different experience. Yeah. No, Wild. But, but, yeah. I mean, I mean, in a sense, from our point of view. It's really important that someone is testing yes. this and, and, and improving <laughs> yes. it. I'm glad they're doing it. I mean, for us, it's it's a yeah. bit of a jolly. Yes. I'll admit it. There's not <laughs> really a great deal of, you know, of, of, of help for us. But I mean, uh, what an amazing facility! What yeah. an amazing company doing this, developing this stuff, absolutely and pushing the, you know, constantly pushing the, the, the envelope. Yeah, literally the envelope that this is. Yeah. This is a this is a we're sitting on a, a big battery box here. Yeah. And it just, I mean, what you can feel is the power. Yeah. Because they have limited the top speed, which I think is extremely sensible. <laughs> yes, I agree. So it does 80 kilometres an hour. But it gets to 80 kilometres an hour in a, in a heartbeat. Uh, and it? I think, although they said you can't drift, you were, you were considering doing some drifting over there. It wasn't really, it was in the back of my mind. <laughs> I kept it well there. Yes, no, I and mean, I just, well, also you could feel, 
you can really it, it, drive it. Yeah, because you can. Because you, can, you know, I mean, I was I was going right near the. Yeah. You know, you can drive the racing line and all that. Exactly. Really makes sense. Which in a car, you're kind of guessing yeah. a bit where it is. I think for me, it brings kind of that sports electric sports car to life. Yeah, yeah. If you start getting this experience in an electric sports car, yes, I think yeah. No, a it is it is very special but i'm really glad it's not raining because there's not a lot of <laughs> not a lot of rain protection <laughs> no, in this not vehicle. At all. we were very lucky to be here today what a brilliant thing to do though thank yeah, i just want to thank all the, the folks at, at catl yep. and all the other sub companies yes. that i can't remember the names of C A I T. T. there you go yeah we've done that we've done that bit and uh, and what an amazing thing and we're going to see such incredible innovations from this company and from well, i mean i have to say from china in general yes it's, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> I'll shut up about it now. We should just please do subscribe. Yes, please do. And one of the other ones, like, like, yeah, subscribe. Tell your mates. Tell your mates. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching.